The purpose of this video is to show a full cycle workflow from an e-commerce storefront page using Odoo's website in e-commerce module. I will show you how your clients will be able to shop on your online e-commerce store. And from there, you will be able to see all of their sales purchased, uh, their sales that have been purchased in Odoo's sales module. And you'll be able to ship the products directly to your customer. So here I am on the main screen of Odoo's uh, website that I created for your business. It is very simple and easy to create website and e-commerce home store pages using Odoo's brand new version 15 e-commerce store by choosing a theme specific for clothing stores. I'm gonna head into our e-commerce shop that I created for you and all your products will populate from that e-commerce store that you have uploaded into Odoo. Your customers will be able to go and click on different sizes and other custom variants that you have uploaded into your e-commerce store and add them to their cart. Once they have added all of the items to their cart that they are looking to purchase, they will be able to check out on the e-commerce store. They can add in their shipping address and it will automatically populate your shipping order and the amount it will cost to ship it based on weight and volume of your products. They'll also be able to pay right from the e-commerce store using a payment acquirer Odoo is PCI compliant, so all orders put through Odoo's e-commerce stores, all of your customers' information are saved in a secure place that is kept by the payment inquirer themselves. Once they have purchased their item, they will get a confirmation code saying that their item has been purchased and their order has been placed. They also will be able to follow their sales order as well as it is put into the system. From here on your end in the Odoo, you can go ahead and go into the sales app where you will be able to see all your orders coming through that day. I can go ahead and click in and you'll be able to see that this sales order has been purchased. It will give you all of the customer's information so that you have it on file along with that shipping address and all of the products that they are purchasing. When I'm looking at the sales order right here, I can see the two items and the Third will be the delivery cost. But I do want to point out that there is these forecasting. One is green and one is red. This is showing you that you uh, one of the products that they have purchased, you currently do not have in your inventory stock. So I want to be able to go into my purchasing application where I will be able to see that an RFQ has automatically been created to say that I need to order this product. From here, it's going to give me just the amount of orders that I currently have in, but you can also go ahead and change the quantity if you would like to have put in at least 10 in stock so you have a little extra. You can go ahead and send this to them by email or if you already know the price that they are doing. Once I have confirmed the request, uh, RFQ request for purchase, I will generate a receipt. This receipt is for my own records. And once I have received my product from my vendor, I will be able to go ahead and receive these products into my inventory stock. I can go ahead and validate it. And now that I have validated that, I can go back into my sales orders and um, finalize all sales orders that have that product in it. I'm gonna go ahead and go back into my sales order 
and I'm going to refresh this page. And now that I can see that both of my products are in stock. So now we are all set to go ahead and deliver this to my customer. So right here at the top right hand corner of the screen, there is a delivery screen button that I am able to go ahead and press. From here, I can go ahead and validate this because now I do know that I am ready. When I do validate this, it will update the customer to let them know that the product is being shipped. I will also take in all this inventory out of my current stock in real time as well. Please note in the right hand side of the screen in the chatter, we have now have our shipping label, which we can now print out and ship this product to our customers. So very simple and easy. During this video, I was able to show you how your customers can go on your e-commerce store page. They can purchase your products. From there, a sales order was automatically generated from any orders that have been completed on your e-commerce. Odoo store from that sales order, you will be able to go ahead and directly ship this product to the customer. Very simple and easy by using one of our shipping uh, methods, USPS, FedEx, or USPS Postal Service, and you'll be able to generate a shipping label right from the shipping cost. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at kfy at odoo.com.